Hey guys, today we are going to learn how we can do a patient history, how we can take a patient history and perform an anamnesis that is another name for history taking. So we are going to study how we take a patient history. We are going to begin with our introduction and the identification. We are going to follow these steps today. So we have to begin introducing, our, introducing ourselves to our patients and then we have to identify our patients, okay? But first, you have to understand, you have to understand something. We have two processes that are very important uh, on our clinical practice, okay? So we have the anamnesis, that is the history taking, and we have the physical examination. Both of them are key functions of doctors to reveal health issues. So we begin, we begin by doing some questions, that is the history taking, and then we go to our physical examination, okay? Many questions that we do, uh, that we make in our anamnesis will, ha will help us to lead our physical examination. Anamnesis, let's start with our anamnesis or our history taking. We are going to ask some specific questions, okay? It leads the subsequent physical examination. Your physical examination will be, uh, you are going to do your physical examination always thinking about the questions that, you, that you've made on your anamnesis, okay, in your, in your anamnesis. So, we have to follow these steps here in our anamnesis. We have the first one, that is the identification, the second one, chief complaint, the third one, history of the present illness, the HPI, we have also review of systems, past medical history, family history, social history, and social history, I'm sorry. Here in Jaleac, we are going to study all of these steps here, okay? First, of, first we are going to begin with the identification. But before doing, uh, asking questions about the patient's identification, it's very, it's very important for you, doctor, to show some characteristics to your patient. So, when interviewing a patient, a doctor must show empathy, compassion, you have to be patient as well, confidence, humility, okay? Your patient needs to be comfortable with you, okay? They need to feel comfortable with you. So you need to create a pleasant atmosphere, all right? And it's very important for you to be professional, right? First step. First, our first step is going to be the identification. So you are going to identify your patient. Here are the questions that we are going to make to our patients to help us identify them, okay? Many times we are not going to use all of these questions, but it's very important for you to know and understand why we select these questions here, all right? But sometimes you are going to select the questions because you're not, uh, you don't have time for it, okay? You don't have time to ask all of these questions. So first question, what's your name? Okay, and then your patient is going, is going to answer his or her name. How old are you? So you are going to, to know, um, you, you want to know the patient's age, all right? Where are you from? Where do, what do you do for a living? And which were your latest jobs? What do you do for a living? You are asking, what's your occupation? Are you married? Do you have any religion? Where do you live? And write if your patient is a man or a, or a woman. You don't need to ask it, okay? You just write in your paper. Okay, and write his or her skin color, okay? 
Guys, now I'm sure you're able to conduct a good introduction of yourself and identify your patients correctly, okay? See you and keep watching our next steps, okay? Thank you.